Hello friends welcome again friends in today's video lecture we are going to discuss naturalism as an important literary movement of english literature in this video we will have a look at the origin of this term naturalism the whole history of this movement we will define this term naturalism and we will also discuss the important features characteristics of naturalism in english literature friends remember naturalism is a movement of english literature which we find during the 19th century and it emerged from france okay uh, zola remember this name Emily Zola is considered as the pioneer of this movement which we will discuss later when we will discuss the history of this movement you know in this movement of naturalism the writers the authors mainly focus on the fundamental causes of the characters actions choices and beliefs you know let me explain these things right in literature the authors they present the characters and some events and the actions of these characters now why the character performs in this manner why the character reacts in this manner in so and so situation that has been the main focus of naturalism you know these writers they present or they express this individual characters and their condition their very poor condition poor not in economic terms only poor in all terms poor in social terms in political terms economic uh, terms okay everywhere the modern man is sad sorrowful and in a poor condition so these writers of the 19th century literature they presented the poor condition the wretched plight of these characters you know man it is believed is not living in a vacuum means man is not alone okay we are living in a society okay so our life is also governed by the external forces now these naturalist writers they believed that man's life is happy or man's life is sad that is determined not by an individual person but by the external forces it may be the society it may be the culture it may be the destiny okay so you must have heard the the proverb the saying that man is the slave of his circumstances okay aadmi apne sanjog ka gulam hai that means what we are not doing anything okay we are the puppets in the hands of these external forces so we are happy because of our situation because of our society but we are sad because of the same circumstances same situations and the society so man ultimately is helpless okay we are surrounded and controlled and governed by our environment by our society by our destiny and this is this is the focus of the naturalist writers in their literature okay so naturalism you can say you know naturalism in many ways in is interconnected with realism also okay because realism which existed in literature during the 19th century you know they, uh, they these writers of realism they presented the characters as they are but where naturalism ends 
सॉरी वेर रियालिज्म एंड नेचुरलिज्म बिगिन्स इन रियालिज्म द राइटर्स प्रेजेंटेड द कैरेक्टर्स एज दे आर रियली इन रियालिटी बट इन नेचुरलिज्म द राइटर्स प्रेजेंटेड द कैरेक्टर्स वाई दे आर सच ओके दे प्रेजेंटेड द कैरेक्टर्स गवर्नड एंड कंट्रोल्ड बाय other forces so this is a slight difference between naturalism and realism now let's have a look at the history of naturalism where actually this movement come from then remember this name jules antoine catagnari uh, he he was a french critic and he coined this term for the first time naturalism you know he used this term to describe a style of life like painting so naturalism actually you know emerges from the field of painting okay and that happened in 1860 so you can say the second half of the 19th century you find this naturalist creation but then emily Bra emily zola has applied this term naturalism which was given by jules antoine you know emily used this terms in literature and you know, in america also the at the same time during the second half of the 18th century please remember this name frank norris okay frank norris has also <coughs> enhanced this movement of naturalism in american literature right but the popularity of this movement did not last long when you come towards the 20th century this movement comes to the end as another movement of imagism expressionism they started right so but you can say even in modern times also even 21st century literature also you find the touches of this naturalism but you know it was highly popular among the authors and writers during the second half of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century so remember this term comes from france it was made more popular by emily zola now let me show you this connection of naturalism with another two movements of literature which are known as romanticism and realism you know literature is what literature is action and reaction let me give you an example if you study comedy during the 16th century it was romantic comedy romantic poetry but if you come to the 17th century you have a reaction against romantic comedy and romantic poetry you know against romantic comedy you have a new type of comedy which came in english literature which was known as comedy of manners against a poetry romantic poetry another movement started during the 17th century which was known as uh, metaphysical poetry so action and reaction one movement goes another movement comes now if you examine the literature in the beginning of the 19th century you know it was the time of john keats uh, p b shelley william wordsworth s t coleridge they were writing highly sensuous highly imaginative kind of poetry full of fantasy right so that literature beginning of 19th century that literature was imaginative literature there was less touch of realism as a result this, this did not last long in the middle of the 19th century <coughs> a new movement uh, started which was known as realism okay now this realism was a reaction against romanticism right so realism in this movement the writers they try to present the realistic picture of the society they presented the characters as they actually are right but towards the end of the 19th century you know you find a reaction 
against this realism which was known as naturalism okay some of the authors of the 19th century they were not satisfied with the romantic view of this world okay they wanted the readers to come back to the hard realities of life what actually life is they wanted to show that you know as actually it happened and as actually they observed in the society so they presented the minute realistic details of man's life that was known as realism but naturalism again you know where realism ends naturalism begins and that's why we say that naturalism was an offshoot of realism okay uh, let me tell you that naturalism presents the scientific objectivism here you find objective approach the author and his characters they are detached they are different okay objective presentation survival of the fittest friends you must have heard about charles darwin charles darwin an important scientist who lived during the 19th century he gave this phrase survival of the fittest you know he developed a theory of evolution and he believed that the fittest and the strongest animal always survives and others die okay in society man is living in a society in society also the same thing happens what that the strongest person they fight against the circumstances but the weaker person they fight and they die or they become unhappy so such poor condition of the modern man fighting against the obstacles fighting against the society fighting against the destiny you know such presentation is found in naturalism in the literature of naturalism if you want one best example of naturalist kind of literature then you remember this name john steinbeck okay john steinbeck has written the grapes of wrath uh, published in 1939 okay the beginning of the 20th century this is the best example here you find one family which is named as jord family j o a d jord family they are presented as instinctive animals okay and they try to survive against the powerful forces of the society and nature so their struggle against nature their struggle against the society is presented in this novel so such uh, uh, men full of struggle against different external forces is presented uh, in naturalist uh, novels now important thing is what are the elements or characteristics of naturalism that is very important to understand the first one is determinism determinism is what determinism means you find yourself helpless against all your destiny and situation so the main plot of the story main the plot of such novels naturalist novels you find that the characters they are presented as helpless they are presented as wretched and in a poor condition fighting against different forces okay here in such novels you know things happen to the character and the character is presented as a passive character he has nothing to do but to bear with what he has received in his life okay so a kind of poor situation uh, helplessness and pessimism is found now so that's why pessimism is the second element of uh, naturalist novels you know here there is no optimism there is no hope of survival in the among the characters in such novels you know sadness 
एंड ग्लूमी एटमोसफियर ग्लूमी मीन सैड एटमोसफियर इज प्रजेंटेड वाई बिकॉज दीज राइटर्स नेचुरलिस्ट दे बिलीव दैट यू कैन नॉट एस्केप योर सर्कमस्टांसिस मैन इज द स्लेव ऑफ हीज सर्कमस्टांसिस okay if one is born in a poor family let me give you an example say for example if you are born in a poor family then you have to pass your life as a poor person you have to accept accept this poverty in your life okay if a character's father is a drunkard then that character has to fight against such situation he has to uh survive in whatever condition he is born okay so such things are presented wretched condition of the hero and his poor destiny or fate is the prime focus of such uh, novels and that's why such novels are mostly pessimistic novels okay another thing is social environment the third one the naturalist writers they mainly were interested in exploring the social environments why because you know they believed that social environments they determine your life you determine you do not determine your life okay you are not the architect of your own fortune okay aap apna apni zindagi khud apne tarike se nahi bana pate why because you are the puppets in the hands of your environment or in your in that situation right say for example the the discrimination between blacks and whites okay uh, such things are presented in such novels uh, like uh, uh, now if you are born in a black family or if you are born in a white family that is your destiny that is your fortune okay and you have to live in such social environment heredity and human nature you are the product of what agar main aap se sawal karta hu ki aap kahan se hai aap abhi kaise jaise hai waise kyun hai then the answer is you are you because of your fathers for fathers okay your nature you have received okay like say for example if somebody is highly emotional highly sentimental somebody is highly intelligent why because he has received this in genes right so that is a biology science right so science is governing your nature your life your personality these writers they strongly believe that you receive some basic qualities of your personalities from your parents from your forefathers okay we are the products of our forefathers uh, our nature is sad or pessimistic because of our family our nature is happy our personality is happy because of our family so in such novels in naturalist novels you find that characters receive these qualities from their parents another thing uh, which is important to note about naturalism is the theme of poverty in all naturalist novels you find that poverty is the central idea central theme presented in the novels right now this poverty comes from where you know if you examine the history of europe during the 19th century it was the period of industrialization new industries and factories were being established in all europe across all countries as a result what happened that the whole society was divided between two major classes and these two major classes were the workers working in the factory labor okay <clears throat> and the second one was the owners of the factory so the society was divided into two classes the rich and the poor and the gap between this rich and poor uh, even big increases more and more day by day the rich becomes the richer and the poor becomes the poorer 
as a result you know the authors <coughs> sorry the authors of the 19th century they wanted to present the problems of these poor class people they wanted to present the struggle the hard lot the the poor fate or destiny of this poor people and that's why you know poverty was the main theme of this 19th century literature which was colored by this movement called naturalism the last important element is the theme of darwinian survival as i told you in the beginning this movement was much influenced by charles darwin and his theory of evolution in in 1859 charles darwin published this book on the origin of species and in this book he has developed the theory about the origin and development of man development of man how man became man from a monkey okay and how man continued uh, struggling against different natural forces okay so this theory of survival of the fittest means the strongest person survives in the world and others they have to leave this world okay so this idea this theory was a uh, uh, much influential on naturalist writers and these writers they presented this theme of darwinian survival of the fittest in their novels if you want some examples you can take this example of the grapes of wrath written by john steinbeck and another example is stephen crane has written the red badge of courage in this novel you find that the protagonist you know he tries very hard to survive as a soldier in the us army okay so survival has always been the major concept or theme presented in naturalist novels so friends these were like poverty pessimism environment okay parents or or heredity and survival these were the major issues presented in naturalist novels during the 19th century so in short let's conclude this discussion by saying that during the towards the end of the 19th century this naturalism was very popular as an important movement in english literature it comes from france originally it was applied the term naturalism was applied uh, in the field of painting but emily zola made it popular in literature so emily is considered as the pioneer of naturalism in, in literature you know here man's poor condition poor social and economic poor conditions they are projected in literature where you know man man is presented as simply a puppet in the hands of situations circumstances and environment okay as i told you remember these two names emily zola and stephen crane uh, apart from this you have theodore you have jack london you have frank norris edith wharton these were uh, another major writers of this movement which is known as naturalism so friends here we come to the end of this discussion if you really liked this video please share this video among your friends and classmates thank you thank you very much